Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here. Now listen, it's something that I kind of, I felt this sometimes and I done been in that space where I felt this and because you hear this stuff and I'll be honest with you, sometimes you hear this stuff and it sound good. Like you hear this, like a woman need to do this, a woman need to do that, a woman need to do this. And then like, listen, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. You heard that video? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. And it feel good because we all want to be served. We want to be catered to. So it's just kind of like, my wife was telling me Cristiano Ronaldo give his wife a hundred thousand dollars a month. At I think right now he make two hundred million a year. Now we don't know if that's real that he give her a hundred thousand because like why would he tell his business? Why would she tell their business? So we don't know if that's true. But if it was, it he giving her one point two million dollars a year, which is nothing. So based on the equivalent of what I give my wife. If I made what Cristiano Ronaldo made, I would be giving my wife 20 million a year. And that would be almost 2 million a month. So she'll read that this woman getting 100,000. But if you don't actually do the math and look at the percentage of what he's giving her based on what he makes, it sounds like a lot when actually dollar for dollar i give her 10 times that amount 20 times that amount and so that's how it is with the internet i go on the internet and i see this woman over here talking about she cook every day and i'm like man i like that but then my wife remind me of the time that she was cooking every day and after three days i was like hey you ain't gotta cook every day we could eat out and it's like Grass ain't always greener, but the thing about it is men, and I'm speaking on this because I'm a man, so I'm speaking from a man, a male's perspective, and I know sometimes men get mad like, oh, why you talking about why men butt hurt is because I'm a man. So I'm, a, I'm evaluating and studying the things that we are doing and saying as men. And somebody, a woman could be doing that for women, but when you really look at this thing, out here in our world, you will see that women are elevating. I just got off the phone with one of my clients and I have a year coaching program and a year of coaching is $7,500 and we launch their business, their brand. And so when y'all see me promoting somebody, it's one of my clients in that program because when they launch something, I help them get their first sales from my audience who supports me and may need their service or their product or whatever it is. So this particular client, we starting a fitness, she's starting a fitness clothing line but she's also a nurse. So, but here's the kicker. She's 27 years old and her parents are minorities. So in what world does a 27 year old have $7,500 to invest in personal brand coaching in business and life coaching in what world like 27 years old i was making nine dollars and 50 cent an hour at 27 as a man whose parents are minorities so here she is a minority which people one lady says she don't like the word it mean a smaller group it does not mean lesser than. It's not the inferior. So understand definitions of stuff. And so here she is, 27 years old. And she signed up for a regular coaching session. Then she learned about the year of coaching. But she is a nurse. 
So she's a RN and she's able to make good money. You know, now about a hundred thousand a year as a travel nurse and coming from not just all this privilege and all it is. So what is a 27 year old man? Like the 27 year old men that I mentor, some of them live with their mom and they are making 30, 30 K to 50 K. Here, this 27 year old woman, she making twice what they make. Some uh, men at 27 already have a child or multiple children. She has no children. She's never been married. She making six figures or near about. And then she has expendable funds that she can invest in herself to build a brand. And that right there is it's empowering for her but it's also intimidating to the men her age because it's men who are 30, 33, 35, who is not where she's at. And that right there, my friend, is the reason that men are online but hurt because and this is the thing. It is it is becoming sexism. And it is the same root and dynamic of racism. <laughs> this, this is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is that. Okay. So these men that are but hurt they are the kkk of relationships because listen to me and riddle me this okay why is a white man in the kkk mad with a black man or a Jew. What did the black man or the Jew do to the white man in the KKK? Or the white man who is racist but not in the KKK? What did the black man or the Jew do to this white man? Nathan. Nathan. But these particular men, they look at me and they say he's more handsome than me the sun does not do his skin the way it does my skin he has natural muscles he is creative he's ambitious he's smart he's confident he's tough he's brave all of those things make my wife lust after him, want him, desire him. So then he says, I hate you. He says, I hate you because God made you. And I hate you because God made you different than me. And I think God made you better than me. So although I don't know you, Although I've never met you, although you've never said anything to me, although when I called you the N-word, you called me sir, because you know I could take your life and get off with it in court of law, I still don't like you. You've done nothing to me. My wife tried to sleep with you. You turned her down, I, and I still don't like you. You could have power drived her, got her pregnant. We ain't got the money for no doctor to end that my wife could have had a mixed baby you walked away from her like joseph did in uh, potiphar's house i think it was and i still don't like you so take that everything what i just said 
And that is the same sentiment that these men today are having towards women. These men are looking at women and saying, you gifted, you smart, you beautiful, you sexy, you could get anybody you want, you could get the lashes you want, you could get the hair you want, you could get the skin you want, you could get the job you want, you got natural industries like cosmetics and things of that nature to where you can make six figures because of being a woman, you got certain concessions, you got grants out here for you, woman-owned business, minority-owned business, minority woman-owned business, you got these different funds for women-owned businesses. You, you make more than me. You can make more than me in your sleep. I got to use my hands to earn. When I use my mind to earn, I'm, I'm not that good at it. So I cannot control you because not only do you not need to cook for me and clean for me because you're not a chef or a maid, but you can actually pay for a chef or a maid if you really wanted to. And because I'm working with my hands or I'm bumping my gums on a podcast, I'm not really all the way in that position. So now I can't control you. I can't tell you what to do because you actually work harder than me and you make more money than me. You got more going than me. So really, I need to be cooking for you and folding your clothes and changing the baby diapers and I need to be the CEO of a home instead of you being a CEO of a home because you actually the CEO of your own business. That's why these men butt hurt today. That's why they butt hurt today. And that's why they butt is actually hurting literally. They going to men now and they getting power drive in the rectum by other men because they so upset and mad with women. They so just out of, out of order and just at are just disillusioned by women that they sit and they talk bad about women so much with other men that they start to fall in love with these men on the podcast with them. They start to fall in love with the chest and the back muscles and the conversation skills of these men that they sitting there bashing women about and they forget they call in the world. They forgetting that. If you man enough, it don't matter what a woman make and what she do, she's still going to respect you as a man if you man enough. And so guys is coming in and they saying like, oh, these women disrespectful, these women this and that. And it's really like these certain women, they saying, hey, you got to pay the piper. Like you're not going to come and try to cheat and be cheating on me and disrespecting me and thinking you, you finna run me like no slave when I'm out here getting it. I got my freedom now, Kunta. I ain't, I ain't up under your thumb, but see what happened is we come from a time to where we had women under our thumb. We was able to beat on women. We was able to cheat on women. We was able to spin in a woman's face. We was able to cuss a woman out. We were able to take all our pain out on a woman, our mama, our grandma, our auntie, and then our girlfriend, then our wife. We was able to just dog a woman out. The woman got to deal with all our trauma. She got to deal with all our tears. She got to deal with all our anger. She got to deal with all our frustration. She got to deal with all our failure. She got to deal with everything. And then when we get success, we then go get a woman that we could never get. And because this woman over here is a gold digger, but we too blinded by sex. We too blinded by lust to see that she a gold digger and she don't really want us. So we lead a woman who wanted us when we have a pot to pee in or a window to throw it out of. And we go to the woman who only want us because now we got some some form of success. And then when we go to the woman who only want us when we got some form of success and then that success slow down or we fall off or we go through a slump and then that woman cheat on us. Now we butt hurt and we hate women. And we hate women because we chose a woman with our little head stood our big head. And now the woman over here who we left, who we left to herself. So she, now she got to fight for herself. She got to fend for herself. She got to stand on her own too. She done went and got a degree. She done went and got an advanced degree. She done went and started a company. She done went and got a good job. She done climbed the corporate ladder. She done built her own ladder. She done built her own table. She done made her own house. And so now she winning 
and we try to spin the block, go back to her, and she looking at us like we crazy because we thinking she, we just she finna be open legs and just be excited that we done came back because we assume she had a soul tie, not realizing she been healing. So now she doing good, she living good, she looking good, and now that make us hate women even more. Now, see, I ain't speaking for myself because I've been married 16 years. I ain't never had to go to no back to no ex. I got married at 23 years old, but I'm just kind of speaking in this tense for the men who watching this video who operate in this space. I want you to really hear me and feel me on how what you operate on and how the devil got you deceived when if you can take and see the, the beauty of this woman, see the excellence of this woman and realize that this woman could teach you a few things. This woman could support you. This woman could help you. This woman in a position to where the first will be last, the last will be first. And that's why the women kind of coming in first right now because the women been last for so long. God say, go to the Egypt and set my captives free. Women been held captive. Women been beat on. Women been dogged out. Women been cussed out. And as men, we want to feel sorry for ourselves. But when we look around, how many women do we see raping men? How many women do we see beating on men? How many women do we see just dogging out, mistreating, and just cussing out, and just putting women through what, putting men through what we put women through, what your daddy put a woman through, what your brother put women through, what your uncle put women through? So as men, when we really honest with ourselves, we done been savages. We done pillaged and raped the land. And then God saw that. So now men is on the back burner, and women are in the front, and they winning. The first will be last, the last will be first. But if you can swallow your pride, get over your ego, you could go to this woman who now has some advantage. I got a I got a client who has a fund that only funds women. And giving women businesses like 10K minimum, some of them getting 50K, 100K, 250K, 500K, whatever they get. And I got another uh, former woman client who she didn't raise over 50 million dollars for her startup i do not know a single black man she's a black woman i don't know a single black man that done raised even five million for their startup in my circle but here i know two women in my circle who done came to me as a life coach who done raised multi-millions for their business so women in a position right now where they winning a woman could win right now. Like, I know other women who, because they're a woman-owned business in the pandemic, got hundreds of thousands of dollars in funding for their business because they are a woman-owned business. And I didn't hear any grants and funds for man-owned business. So now society, the capitalists, the government is realizing the power of women. Now, this is the same government that suppressed women and women could not vote. Women didn't have a say-so over their body. Women had no rights and no respect. Now, this same government is paying the piper. This same government now has grants for women-owned business, for women of color-owned business. All these different type of grants out there that if a woman sit down, and she go on Google and she type in grants in her state for women. She going to find a list of grants that she can apply for. She going to get one of them because I know women who barely could read and write getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in grant money because they went on Google and they did the research. They find the grants and they got the money. They don't even have financial literacy. I know some women don't even have financial literacy and got hundreds of thousands of dollars in grant money. And so just because they thought to go look at that, that's something that a lot of men don't think about unless we are a scammer. And so what men really need to be doing right now and, and what women really have to understand, too, is that when you meet a man. You got to understand. These men butt hurt. So don't just give him your butt to kiss. And think that he can't love you and think that he can't grow with you and think that y'all can't build together. You got to understand that when you meet this man, he got a spirit on him and he under spiritual warfare. He's not mad at you. He mad at himself and taking it out at you on you. But so what you got to do as a woman, I'm not saying raise the man, but I'm saying speak truth to power and say and, and just say it in a way he could hear you and say, listen, you know, I'm feeling a little energy from you and it just. It's not warranted because I haven't done anything to you. 
I'm feeling like you kind of trying to put your foot on my neck and like you trying to make me submit to you and I don't even know you. Like we we just not getting to, to know each other. So I, I really want you to sit down and like kind of swallow your ego and like get over yourself and really just kind of think about like, why are you mad with me? And I have not done anything. I'm minding my business trying to get my bag and take care of my my family and do what I have to do. But you come in with this this sentiment, this energy, this kind of attitude. And I just really want you to evaluate that. And so speak truth to power. Let him, he's going to hear you. He's, he's going to argue with you in that moment. But when he got to lay down at night to go to sleep, everything you said is going to be on a megaphone in his ear. And then he's going to think about that and say, you know what? You're right. Like, I'm mad because the government has turned the tables or God has turned the tables. I'm mad because I don't have complete, utter control over you. I'm mad because you have agency over your own life. And if I'm not treating you right, you can walk away because you don't need me to pay a bill. That's really why I'm mad when really I ought to be mad at myself and I ought to want to grow so that I can respect you as a human being, respect and love and enjoy and honor the fact that you have agency over your life and that you can earn a million dollars if you want to and that you could be an astronaut, a scientist, a doctor, a lawyer, a basketball player you could do anything you want to do and we could come together and have kids or adopt kids or get us some dogs and cats and we could be a power couple if i could get over my ego if i could stop trying to reduce you to a in-home cook and an in-home maid and an in-home porn star and an in-home slave basically if i could stop trying to reduce you to that and if I can let you operate in your greatness, let you use your skills, let you use your brain because women use both sides of their brain, not only will you be helping yourself and helping our family, our kids or our dogs and cats, but you also can give me a little game, see my blind spots, speak life into me, affirm me, support me, help me. If I'm affirming you, supporting you and helping you, and now we're a power couple. If I turn off the podcast of these butthurt men who getting a butt stuffed every other day by another man that I do not know about and I don't realize why he got so much air in his chest and why he's so up hit, upset. But really, when I think about it, he's so upset because of the spiritual warfare that he is under because a woman ain't never did nothing to him but love him and support him. A woman raised him. A woman coddled him. A woman made it to where he could be here today. His daddy left him or walked out on him or tried to punk him or was abusing him or doing whatever. And, and now he mad with women when he ought to be mad with a man. And so if a man could come to that realization and look through these men that is trying to check women and put women in a place and realize that as men, we supposed to be checking ourselves and putting ourselves in place. And we supposed to be giving our sisters and our mama and giving women the game and trying to help them elevate in the area where they weak at, which is relationships. They, they could be strong in business, but nine out of 10 women is weak in relationships because a woman is created for a man. A woman is created to submit to a man to allow a man to lead. So guess what? Women are going to bomb men and letting bombs lead them. They submitting to busters. They submitting to men who they're in submission to a man with no mission. And then wondering why they being led into a ditch because you letting a blind man lead you when you got 2020 vision. So when you understand and then what's happening because of the spiritual warfare, some women have a man with vision and they disrespecting the man vision and trying to lead the man and don't know where they going. So it's happening both ways. It's just who's more susceptible. So because a man was not made for a woman, 
when you read the Bible, the woman was created for the man. The man was made by himself for himself. And God say, this man ain't complete. He need a woman. So he put him to sleep and made a woman from his ribs, right from his womb. And then Annette saying, you know, now nah, men coming from the womb of a woman. So one hand washed the other. And this is what we have to realize and understand. So we under this spiritual warfare and we going back and forth and we don't even realize why. We don't even realize why. We ain't even understanding what's really going on. Play why? And so now we losing. So now we're divided. Women going their own way. Men going their own way. Men on this side arguing and debating, yelling at the women. Women on this side arguing and debating, yelling at the men. And at the same, now we divided. And so what the government going to do, the government going to see the division and the government going to say, how can I make money off this division? So what the government say is, we're going to keep strip clubs legal. We're going to keep gambling legal. So men are going to, we're going to make all kind of billions of dollars in tax off of strip clubs and casinos and gambling sites and marijuana dispensaries because men are drowning in their sorrow. Men drowning in their sorrow. The largest supporters of strip clubs, casinos, and marijuana dispensaries are men. Men drowning in their sorrows. And then with the women, what we're gonna do, because they single and lonely, or, or single if they're not lonely, if they know the Lord and they really rock with them, but a lot of women who are single are also feeling loneliness. These women are now going to get education. So we're going to get our interest. We're going to buy the student loans. We're going to let them get loaned up. They're going to get $200,000 in education loans. We charging 6% interest on these loans. It's owned by the government. So we're going to make a killing because women are getting degrees at the highest rate. So we're going to make a killing off the student loan interest. Then we're going to approve these women for houses. We're going to make a killing off the, off the banks paying us from, the, from their money that they're making. We fixing to give women more grants because they're going to stimulate the economy. We finna give women more grants. We finna let the women, we finna, we finna put the women in the driver's seat because the men have bumped their head and took a stupid pill. And all they want to do is get drunk, smoke weed and gamble and buy prostitutes and go to the strip club. So we finna put women in the driver's seat. So every commercial on TV is finna have a female lead. And it's going to be marketing to the woman. Every reality show is going to have female leads and it's going to be marketing to women. It's going to be a female driven show. And we're going to empower women. We're going to encourage women. We're going to uplift women. And we're going to lace them with money because they're going to make us money. The government don't care nothing about man or woman. The government care about money. The government care about control. So then we're going to show women, hey, you could be a strong single mom. Don't even worry about these men because the men, they over here doing this right here. So listen, get get your bag, get all your money. We finna get you more money. And, and you just keep stimulating this economy. You keep this economy going. Get up, buy all the makeup you want. Go do all the surgery that you want. Go get the houses. Go get the cars. Do all the real estate. Do everything you want to do while you are unhappy with your relationship status. And we're going to encourage you and we're going to keep you going. Government don't care nothing about division. Don't care nothing about it because it's gonna make money either way. Government gonna make money either way. So this what we so as humans, what we got to realize is divided we fall. Divided we fall. When you divide it, you more easily manipulated, you more easily controlled. When you come together and you make a plan. You're not going to spend as much money. You're not going to be as willy-nilly because now you got a plan. Now you're doing things to where you're really doing a lot of things that you're avoiding taxes. Now you're starting businesses together. You're a power couple. You're thinking together. One person thinking this way, one person thinking this way. You put it together. Now you're not even paying taxes because you got two brains working together. So now you know how to write off. Now you know how to put your money in investment accounts to where when you withdraw these millions that you done stacked up it's finna be tax-free because you working together so 
it's a benefit to the adversary and to the system when we divide it, when we sitting on podcasts arguing with each other. That's a benefit, and that's what we got to realize and understand, and that's why we losing. And each side got to check themselves, look themselves in the mirror, get over themselves, swallow their pride, and we got to come together, we got to build together, we got to work together, and that's how we going to win. So share this video with everybody you know because the algorithm is also owned by the government and they ain't going to want to hear word to get out. Share it with every person on your phone right now. And tell them share it with every single person, every man, every woman. Because this right here the plan that's going to lead us to the promised land. God bless you. We're going to talk soon.